Learn from the almond leaf. Learn from the almond leaf which flames as it falls. The ground is burning, the earth is burning, flamboyance is all. Hi, I'm Varsha and I welcome you all to my channel In The Buckets and in today's video I'm going to talk to you about a lesser known poet called Miss Eunice D'Souza. Miss Eunice D'Souza was a poet, a novelist, a professor of English literature at St. Xavier's College in Mumbai, Maharashtra. She was also an editor. Miss D'Souza is the most influential modern writers of the late 20th century India. Her style is free verse and her poems are really witty. One of her popular poems is called Tell Me. Tell me, Mr. Death, date, time, place. I have to look for my life of sin panties and make an appointment for a pedicure. Her poems are one or two stanza long and really easy to read and really creative and really, really witty and light-hearted. She wrote mostly on the misfits of society, uh, mainly women under the patriarchal rule or household or just society, um, judging them on the basis of what these women do in life. Like Miss D'Souza was a spinster all her life. She was single, she never got married and that's why she was taunted upon. Um, when she was born and all her childhood she has heard her parents say that they wanted a boy um, and these um, miserable miserable observation of society prompted uh, Miss D'Souza to write and she just changed just channeled this canon of modern poetry um, to her advantage. Uh, she gave voice to the voiceless, mainly the misfits of human society and not just human society but also um, the bird and animals as well, like a crow. Many poets, uh, they don't prefer to write about crows, they mostly prefer to write about night angles and other sweet and beautiful um, sound and sight birds. But she chose uh, Crow, and not like Edgar Allan Poe's Crow, which is, which is um, symbolic and gothic and really dark, but her Crow is um, really um, optimistic. Here is a poem called Rat. Rat as road killer. Road killer, a feast for crows. Rats are worshipped in places, snakes in others. Crows, cleaners of city, are not worshipped at all. So here she places crows in a really useful light. She says that crows are really important in society because they um, clean uh, the um, leftovers of um, citizens and also uh, the rats and the snakes that are um, that just lying in the road. Uh, they eat them up and clean the streets of urban places. But instead, rat and snakes are worshipped in religious places for, of course, religious reasons in India. And she has placed crows in a really, really wonderful light, a light that I don't think many people would have thought of placing crows. And not just crows, but she also wrote on women from different um, classes of society, different religion, um, different uh, thought process, and she has brought them all together in her poetry. Her poems like Bequest and Advice to Women are really wonderful pieces uh, in which she is talking about uh, or giving them advice on how to live a fearless life uh, in a society which is going to judge them always like she has been judged and one interesting fact is that once she was called in an interview to give reasons of why she was a spinster or a single woman um, she replied with this statement that marriage need a lot and lot of compromises and she wasn't willing to give that much of her time and energy and life into a marriage and also because she doesn't want to bear children into this world which I think is a really radical statement even for um, 21st century 
and this is what makes me read them. The first poem that I ever read by her is called Going. So here we go. You're going, she said. As his coffin was carried to the grave, he didn't reply, of course. He never replied. Popping peanuts into his mouth, he went through the evening paper. At breakfast, egg yolk dribbled down his chin. I found this poem in a lesser known anthology of poetry and not many people read her, not even uh, she has a place in the English literature, any of the contemporary or the Indian English um, section of English literature courses. And I think this is a, such a entertaining read so if you're having a depressed or a really tired um, day then and you want to read something lighthearted, then just pick up her and I will um, put some link to her standalone poems which are all over the internet and you may read them if you like. So this is all I want to tell you about Miss D'Souza. If you like this video then like and share and subscribe for similar videos on poetry, literature and just reading in general. And I will meet you in my next video. Till then, have a safe lockdown. Bye, guys.